So there I was, moving into college, not knowing that I'd be in for the worst start possible. Everything that could have went wrong, went wrong. Thankfully, this story has a happy ending, but I didn't know that at the time. And neither did my mom, who ends up kind of saving the day, but we'll get to that later. Yes, mom, I packed my deals. Yes, and the shampoo, and conditioner. Mom, you were with me when we packed it all. I promise I have everything. No, I didn't bring a flashlight. Cause I'm not gonna need a flashlight. Mom, I've never used a flashlight at home. So I'm not gonna need one here. I, I don't, I don't need it. Okay, sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to yell. Um, I still have clothes to put away, I'm, so I'm gonna start unpacking that stuff. I'll give you a call later, okay? All right, bye. Look how responsible I thought I was being. Putting my clothes away, getting ready for my first day of classes. I actually had an 8 a.m. the next morning, which I totally thought I was gonna be able to get up for. Wrong. Yep, missed my first class. Wasn't off to a good start. Didn't meet anybody, didn't learn anything. And I remember thinking, why would God send me to a Christian school if I was just gonna screw it up the first day? I was upset. I figured I'd try to get some food to try and get back on track, but you can imagine how that went. I walked into the dining hall overwhelmed. I had no trouble getting food. It was where to eat that tripped me up. Everyone seemed like they had friends to sit with, and I had nobody. I felt alone. It was bad enough that I started the day a step behind, but I just kept trying to figure why I, of all people, had to be the outcast, sitting and talking with nobody. I thought, is this what college is really gonna be for me? My day wasn't primed to get any better though. I had lots of catching up to do in class. So I sat and worked on assignments I knew nothing about. Angry at God for putting me in that position. That was until the cherry on top of all incidents took place. And remember how I said my mom would save the day? Well. Keep watching. Why, why the lights off? Bro, of course, of course the power goes out. Is it this day couldn't get any worse? What's this? Can't even see. Yep, the flashlight I didn't need. And it made me realize, maybe I was missing something. Maybe throughout this whole process, what I really needed was God. And I refused to look to him. But his word is a light and I was gonna use it. Yo, he's got a flashlight. Is that your Bible too? Yeah, my, my mom sent it from home. Yo, dude, I mean, the power's out. We got nothing else to do. Why don't we read a couple chapters? Yeah, I, I guess we could. 
You, you guys know the story of uh, Jesus walking on water? Yeah, yeah I love good. that story. Sounds good. It says, immediately he made the disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. I learned that day After that no matter what troubles I would face, there's no problems that can be solved without God. I don't know why my mom sent that box, but I do know that it got me through that dark moment, just like it will with all the others.